So as I explained in the previous video, when you are conducting a PMCC hypothesis test and n is very large, so by the time you get to 5,000, for example, in your sample size, you don't need a very strong uh, PMCC in order to reject the null hypothesis because the critical value um, decreases to that amount, Okay, so a very small amount. So how do we deal with those situations? Well, this is where we bring in Cohen's interpretation for interpreting effect size, um, which comes from Jacob Cohen in 1988. And these are the values uh, that are utilized by OCR MEI. Uh, the correlation coefficient of 0.1 is considered a small effect size, 0.3 is a medium, and 0.5 is large. Now, how do you interpret this? Because you're comparing it against a PMCC level. So, essentially, uh, if your values are close to 0.1, that's a small effect size, or anything less than 0.1 certainly is small. Again, close to 0.3 and 0 point, close to 0.5 or larger than 0.5 would be considered a large effect size. So let's say, for example, you had a table of data where you've got a large populations, um, well, large uh, samples have been taken. And looking at countries, for example, um, or it could be regions um, of countries where we're looking at the population, the life expectancy and the birth rate. Then the population against the population would clearly be just one to one. OK, so the PMCC would be one. Hence, that's why they are one. So you can ignore that column. And there's no point repeating the information here when it's already here. So that's why their table isn't quite filled. We've got a life expectancy against population. The PMCC was calculated to be minus 0.03. Now, that is quite close to zero, and hence is a very small effect size. And in a similar way, so is the 0.05. So that means that you can pretty much be clear that there's very little correlation between life expectancy and population and birth rate and population. OK, whereas um, because you've got minus 0.48 here between birth rate and life expectancy, because that's quite close to the 0.5 effect size, that means that there's a large effect size here. And so what we're seeing is that there is a strong negative correlation uh, between the birth rate and life expectancy. OK, so it doesn't need to be in the case of uh, when we're looking at PMCC levels between minus one and one uh, that you could interpret it just as, oh, it's strong if it's between 0.8 and one. The fact that you're getting a strong effect size, a large effect size here is telling you that there is a uh, likely to be a strong correlation between the birth rate and life expectancy, strong negative correlation between birth rate and life expectancy in the population. So that's how we use the effect sizes um, to interpret large samples uh, PMCC levels.